Of Hever Castle is about to host its first ever History Festival. It's been curated by author, social and cultural historian Dr Owen Emerson, who for six years worked at the Kent Castle. Owen with us on the programme this afternoon. Hello. Hello there. It's so, so lovely to be back with you. Really nice to have you here. I mean, the History Festival at Hever, this is something new, isn't it? It is, and I'm so pleased. I've I've been sort of co-curating this with the wonderful historian Kate McCaffrey, who is now the Castle Historian this Assistant Curator at Hever. And it's a really important year for Hever. They've just launched the most beautiful uh, recuration of the Berlin Apartments. And I'm really hoping that this history festival will sort of complement that really important initiative that Kate has uh, sort of seen through at Hever. What was it like when you were working there? Because over that six years, you must have experienced so much. And I spent uh, quite a bit of time with you there. Yeah, no, absolutely. Oh, honestly, it was an absolutely joyful job. And uh, there's a part of me that misses it very much. Uh, but I do have still, you know, strong ties with the castle. Um, so I, I get to pop by every now and again and see that beautiful old place and lots of lovely friends that I have there. So it's a joy, actually, to be working for this sort of four days during this festival is really exciting because it was very much a home from home for you and uh, over the years not only did you take people around the place you as a historian you were able to share some of the missing stories of Hever parts that maybe hadn't been fully explored over the years I mean it's been a real treasure hunt almost yeah no absolutely I mean obviously there is one very very famous queen who once lived at Hever but Part of the joy of working as the castle historian there was sort of uncovering the hidden histories. And, you know, I very much uh, fell in love with some of the lesser known characters, um, you know, especially people like William Wardorf Astor's cook, who was Rosa Lewis and uh, was a very influential and colourful character who had a television series made about her in the 1970s, The Duchess of Duke Street. So um, there are, yeah, there are real hidden gems to be found at Hever. I notice as well on socials in the last uh, few days, there's something quite special happening with the uh, Berlin's room uh, the, 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 where the family lived there at Hever. They've opened it, they're about to, in, in a very special way. Can you talk us a bit about that? Yeah, absolutely. I was very privileged to be in the very early stages of the planning of this, but it has since evolved enormously under the amazing curation of Kate McCaffrey. So this was their apartment, Owen, wasn't it? It was. It's their living space. It's the, quite extraordinary, but he beholds the, the last surviving set of rooms that we know the Berlin family occupied. And what they've done is, through extensive uh, research with... Uh, inventories and visual aids they have recreated what it would have been like for the Berlins to occupy that space and I was actually there yesterday filming uh, a little piece um, and honestly stepping inside is an assault on all of the senses I mean from the beautiful colours that they have adorned those apartments with to the rush matting, the weaving of rushes together into this beautiful matting, which has the most incredible smell when you walk across it. It's really intoxicating. And that is a place where actually you and I have gone into the eaves of Hever Castle and walked over the top of that apartment space. Absolutely. And, you know, that was one of my favourite experiences, I think. We were there for Halloween and we both got a little bit spooked, I seem to remember. Well, just a little bit. A few odd things happened, which we even today can't explain, uh, including Absolutely. including what sounded like a, a human voice in a staircase and um, definitely yeah. the smell of um, what you had described as a ghost that only is smelt. Uh, and I walked into the room and smelled it and you say, oh, you've just smelt the ghost. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> it's, uh, you know, you're never alone at Hever Castle. You yeah, really yeah. Are. I'm still in therapy, by the way, for that. Um, the uh, the Tudor Trio, you're mentioning filming, that's something that is part of your life? Yeah, absolutely. I've been incredibly lucky to team up with Dr Nicola Tallis and Kate McCaffrey, and we have lovely adventures all over the country. We go and visit historical places, and people can subscribe and come along with us virtually, which is heavenly. It's a, a dream, really. 
so this is the new part of your life. You you work you you've worked on what four books now? I think that you've had published. Is the author podcast blogging world now part of every day for you as well as continuing your journey as a historian? Yeah, absolutely. So I really enjoy that aspect of it, and we have subscribers from across the world, which is heavenly. Um, but I'm also doing things like residential tours with a wonderful company called Author Fan Travel. Uh, people can come and spend uh, sort of a few days with us on tour, We're going to lots of historical sites. So there's a physical aspect to what I'm doing as well. Um, but also carrying on with authoring books. So I've got a full history of Heaver coming up. So yeah, things like that. And with book festivals, normally it's always about lots of different topics. That's the point. This is the first history festival at Hever Castle, bringing lots of authors together for talks, conversations, showcasing history. Absolutely. And we have such a stellar lineup. I mean, we have Dr. Tracy Borman, Dr. Alison Weir, Sarah Gristwood, Dr. Joanne Paul, Dr. Nicola Tallis, Gareth Russell, and I'm really pleased to be doing a talk with Kate McCaffrey uh, myself so um, we have the most amazing array of subjects from Jane Seymour, Anne Boleyn, Elizabeth I, the House of Dudley, the Tudors in Love. We really are exploring uh, a very wide breadth of uh, history all centred around Hever and the amazing people that occupied it. Lots of people will know those names because they're kind of like the superstars, aren't they, uh, of history uh, storytelling. So to hear Tracy Borman is going to be there and uh, Alison Weir, in, as you mentioned, uh, your colleagues who you used to work with, who you're now teaming up with too. So it all starts um, on Monday, August the 19th and over two days, lots of events going on. Absolutely. It's actually stretched over four days. We start on the 19th and end on the 22nd. Right, right. And um, you can see the full lineup, uh, including what people are going to be talking about and what kind of books they have on the uh, Heaver Festival website. So I'd love to see some faces there. It would be really exciting. And uh, yeah, a- an amazing lineup of historians. You can get tickets for the History Festival at Heaver Castle at heaverfestival.co.uk. Dr. Owen Emerson, always a pleasure, always a joy spending time with you. Thanks for being with us. It's a pleasure.